Nerdrotic.com. Here we wow. go. This is yeah, this is he has no this eyebrows. Is There's burn victim body. Burn his victim. whole face. Can we also acknowledge how gross and weird the person doing the ASL yeah. looks? <laughs> that's Why him in a making wig, that right? face. That's yeah. unnecessary. Yeah, it looks like a sister. <laughs> that is him in a wig. Yeah, that's him in a wig. <laughs> that's literally him in a wig. <laughs> Can we get he's the being, one that looks close inclusive. to me? <laughs> he got he got his niece or something to come in there and do the oh. ASL for him. It's like a warning. Like this is what we're gonna what's, what you're gonna look like when we make you go trans if you don't say this. <laughs> we're gonna do this to you. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining hmm. us today. Hello. I really appreciate you taking time out of oh. your day for this very Jesus. important session. By now, I hope you've all read my most recent note, in which I pledge to be a better ally for the <laughs> LGBTQ oh plus community. A better hold hostage. On, hold on. Hold on. Hold a better on. Hostage. Pause, hold on. A better pause, hostage. Pause, pause, pause. To... Okay. I've Anyone... never met a deaf gay person. <laughs> Anyone that this is directed at, if you don't feel completely disrespected, in every way possible, you're part of the problem because how the fuck can you not feel like this is such a slap in the face talking down yeah. to you like you are a complete fucking idiot. And the fact that there's so many people out there, they think that this actually means anything other than they think you are stupid as fuck and they're mm -hmm. treating you like you are. And yeah, the majority of them are, but this is pathetic. <laughs> he, he, is, he is tailoring it to his audience, to be fair. So. Yeah. Oh, this is all, it's all word salad. It's, it's to satisfy this. They don't give a shit about you. They do not care about you. It's just to get you off their back for a little while. They did the same thing during Georgia, whenever they had the Georgia bill about not murdering child, little, little babies as they come out the womb. They did. Oh, we're not going to deal with Georgia anymore. We're not going to film there. And it's disgusting. And then cut to six months, a year later, they're doing an entire behind the scenes about one of the shows that they shot. there, saying Georgia is so great. I love uh, shooting here. Everybody is amazing. They don't give a shit about the things that they say they give a shit about. It's all fake. To ensuring that our company lives up to its values. I meant every word. And that's what we're here to talk about today. I know that we've got work to do, and that work starts with listening. I'm glad the company will hear from today's panel of LGBTQ plus employees, and I hope that you are as impacted as I've been by the voices that I've heard over the past few weeks. I've read many emails that have been oh, sent. Oh, that is very funny sign language. LGBTQ plus employees <laughs> yeah. and their allies. You know, I also like the reimagining <clears throat> tomorrow. This is commie speak. Uh -oh. This uh, voices is... reimagine tomorrow. This came out a year and a half, two years ago. Yeah, Chris Rufo is the one that busted that whole thing. Yeah, because yep. the entire thing was engineered from Disney as a way to essentially push diversity and representation and stuff like that, but packaged in a very yeah. Uh, extreme way and they it's pretended like better. they shut it down but they did it obviously nope. they just kept going ahead with it there it is New right there order Re reimagine tomorrow a better tomorrow today or sooner yeah. if possible or we'll kill you i can't wait till <laughs> drugs have those slogans you'll own nothing and enjoy it <laughs> met with yeah. advocacy groups and convened my own leadership team and i have been taken by the honesty the openness and the urgency of their stories. The urgency of their stories. Sell story. me a hot the dog and put me on a fucking ride. Pause it for a second. About your story. Pause it for a second. What is the urgency of your story? Uh, but be specific about that. What is the urgency of your story? We heard that from Victoria Alonso too. Everybody needs an origin story. So you want to make sure. So you, mm -hmm. for one, um, I, I forgot who said this. Maybe it was Papa Gundam. Uh, but I have a drug riddle memory. So somebody said, you know, you, you you fucking out yourself by just automatically assuming that you don't want people to talk about gay and trans issues. It's all sexuality, all of it. All of it. So you're you're telling on yourself. That's a prison saying right there. You just told on yourself that you're mm -hmm. telling on yourself with what your intention is right there. You want to groom children from a very early age. You want to teach them. And that when they're their most impressionable to increase numbers? Is that Get what we're trying to do? Yep. Instead of letting it's, it naturally happen? Because it naturally happens. Nobody's denying that. Nobody's denying that, that that it's okay to be gay. It's perfectly fine. Nobody's talking about that. We're talking about talking about sexual things to little fucking children who will poop their pants. Yeah, but it doesn't happen it doesn't happen at a very high rate. 
at all in any way, shape, or form. It's it's not mm -mm. natural. It's not normal. It's it's abnormal, but it does occur. You know, we're talking four percent of people yep. throughout like right. the history throughout throughout like decades and centuries. We're talking like four percent of people yep. consistently. But what you're trying to do is you're trying to increase that number, and the way you do it is by targeting it, young influential minds. When when you're a hunter gatherer, right? There's probably it's probably a mm -hmm. smaller percentage, and it increases probably a little bit as civilization gets more comfortable. That that would be my guess. Well, Not a, a biologist in Austin, or... in Austin that said that out of her thirty-two students, twenty of them came out mm. as LGBT. Yeah, because oh, she, tell she, me, because they're does trying. Does that to... sound like reality? No, or does that's... that sound like they're... you are grooming kids and to believe a certain way? Kids who would it's do anything thing to impress their teachers. They're impressing their teachers. Yeah. They're impressing their friends. It's a great TikTok it's, video. It's a trend it right and now. And you don't want to be left out. You don't want to be left out of it. If your right. couple of friends are doing it. And what was this? Were, were these individual cases where they came up to you and said, I'm I'm really struggling with this. I, I think I might be Hello, trans Mrs. in some McGinty. way. I'm a piece or was of it, pizza. Or was it uh, one yeah. day they stood and said, <laughs> everybody that's trans or non-binary, hold your hand up. I right? liked it. Uh, I more understand that. that we've made mistakes and the pain that those mistakes have caused. And I know that our silence wasn't just what about mistake in Florida, but about every time an individual yeah, stop being vague. institution that mm. yeah, stood be, up for this community. Be specific. So, I mean, the re pause it for a second. The reality of this, okay, like they, he, he only kind of means this, right? They're going to give it lip service when they need to give it lip service. And they're going to try to like appease and work their way through it. And hopefully, you know, that's how they deal with every issue, right? As a company, because a company inherently is a coward. Now they're, they're just mm -hmm. risk averse. So you can't fucking you you can't innovate that way and and they've reached maturity that's why they need to buy things they need to buy things to stay relevant because it's impossible to innovate under this environment at all this is too big to succeed so this is this is the flaw in the, in this oligarchy we have right now which is fucking terrible I what mean don't they is don't think they... we need more cartoons where Donald Duck has boners yep that's going to bring the <laughs> yeah. uh. Didn't they? Didn't they put out some support Ukraine nonsense? Everybody they donate did. money. Yeah. Well, yeah, isn't did. isn't isn't gay marriage illegal in Ukraine? Pretty sure. Yeah, it is. Is. Oh, be quiet. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh, pretty interesting. Pretty video. interesting. Sorry. Guess what? All you Ukraine people yeah, you want the, the LGBTQIA plus C three P O X Y Z community. <laughs> you don't understand how war works. You exactly. See, <laughs> Ukraine is a small country, and and Russia <laughs> next is to a, a big, big country. country. Uh, so Wait a minute. It, hmm? As thank you for break. I didn't understand it until. Wow, you should Thank be the God vice president of the United States of America. I'm He's qualified. Well, I don't know. Ask, how's qualified. your second game? How's yeah, your how, game? Uh, that's just I, what I was thinking. How I could suck a game? golf ball for 12 foot holes. All right, you're in. Yeah. <laughs> all right. It's also uh, Ukraine's also forcing all of the transgender so trans women so actual biological men right. they're forcing them back they're not letting them go because they're making them fight because they're men no bro you gotta fight <laughs> and the uh transitioning women that were transitioning into men went back to being women to escape the country how crazy that oh, was wow. right. grabbed brooms and went in the cage. i'm a man hey, hey, I'm quick. all men have to fight my name is Liswi. <laughs> yeah my name is veronica would you like sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Come do your man. laundry. Remember, uh, remember a month ago when we were told Ukraine's on the brink of elimination, and we <laughs> need to do something immediately. Yeah. Fuck all you Or Russia's gonna glass yeah, them, man. and now it's yeah, like a month later, and it's just been the same fucking headline for a goddamn over and month. over. Dude. Well, it, it got beat out by Will Smith's slap. So yeah, <laughs> they, <laughs> U yeah. Ukraine was so yes two weeks ago. Everybody, yeah. come on, keep up. Nergerotic.com, please subscribe. If you like what I do here, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking and sharing the videos. It really does help. And if you did this with your favorite YouTuber as well, I'm sure they would appreciate it as much as I do.